Zhou Youguang began his working life as an economist. Linguistics was just a hobby. He spent three years on Wall Street representing a Chinese bank, but returned home in 1949 when the People's Republic was established and taught at a university in Shanghai. In the 1950s, the government put him in charge of a committee to create a better system to alphabetize Mandarin characters. The old way Giles system gave us Peking for Beijing, Chongqing for Chongqing, and Mao Zedong for Mao Zedong. It had the added disadvantage of being created by foreigners. Zhou's committee finished its work on a system known as Pinyin in 1958. Back then, about 85% of Chinese were illiterate. Nowadays, hardly anyone is. Children learn pinyin before they learn Mandarin characters. Chinese tapping away on their smartphones can thank Zhou Youguang for making text messages a snap. And Zhou's pinyin system is making it easier for tens of millions of foreigners to pick up the language. He translated the Encyclopedia Britannica into Chinese, earning the nickname Encyclopedia Zhou. And he kept writing about language and history even after passing the century mark. Zhou Youguang died Saturday in Beijing, one day after his 111th birthday. John Metherell, CGTN.